My m mummy thinks I look lovely, Miss Trunchbull, Amanda stuttered, shaking like a blancmange. I don't give a tinker's toot what your mummy thinks, the Trunchbull yelled. And with that, she lunged forward and grabbed hold of Amanda's pigtails in her right fist and lifted the girl clear off the ground. Then she started swinging her round and round her head, faster and faster, and Amanda was screaming blue murder and the Trunchbull was yelling, I'll give you pigtails, you little rat. Shades of the Olympics, Hortensia murmured. She's getting up speed now, just like she does with the hammer. Ten to one, she's going to throw her. And now the Trunchbull was leaning back against the weight of the whirling girl and pivoting expertly on her toes, spinning round and round, and soon Amanda Thrip was traveling so fast she became a blur. And suddenly, with a mighty grunt, the Trunchbull let go of the pigtails, and Amanda went sailing like a rocket right over the wire fence of the playground and high up into the sky. Well thrown, sir, someone shouted from across the playground, and Matilda, who was mesmerized by the whole crazy affair, saw Amanda Thrip descending in a long, graceful parabola onto the playing field beyond. She landed on the grass, it bounced three times, and finally came to rest. Then, amazingly, she sat up. She looked a trifle dazed, and who could blame her? But after a minute or so, she was on her feet again and tottering back towards the playground. The Trunchbull stood in the playground, dusting off her hands. Not bad, she said, considering I'm not in strict training. Not bad at all. Then she strode away. She's mad, Hortensia said. But don't the parents complain, Matilda asked. Would yours, Hortensia asked. I know mine wouldn't. She treats the mothers and fathers just the same as the children, and they're all scared to death of her. I'll be seeing you sometime, you two. And with that, she sauntered away. And that's the end of the chapter. So this chapter is showing us that the Trunchbull, the principal, is really horrible, but she can't be stopped. She does horrible things to the students, and the students don't do anything about it, and the parents don't do anything about it. So we get a little bit more information about this person so that we can get an idea of maybe what will come next. Matilda, knowing that um, she's really good at pranks, Maybe she'll prank the trench bowl. Bye.